Hey, what is up? It is Vinit Designs here, back with a new video. Welcome to my channel. I'm Vinit, graphic designer, web designer, and today we're gonna jump into Figma to create a couple different versions of web design grids, and I'll show you how to create them from scratch. So let's jump into Figma right now. Okay, so we're in Figma, and the first thing we want to do is create a frame. Frame is basically an artboard if you're familiar with Illustrator and Photoshop and other design tools. So click on the frame tool or hit F on your keyboard, and on the right side, we have some basic or general templates we can use for web design and uh, mobile applications. The one we want to choose is the desktop 1440 by 1024. And now that we have this selected and go to the right side of the properties and you'll see an option or a section for a layout grid. To create a grid, just hit the plus icon and we want to modify this so just go over to the layout grid settings select columns because we are going to create the first grid which is going to be a 12 column grid in the count section we want to enter 12 because we're obviously creating a 12 column grid and now we also want to set some margins around uh, on either side so um, we have a specific number we want to create a 1200 pixel container and so for that we're going to enter 120 pixel margin that's going to create equal margins on either sides and now we have a 1200 pixel wide grid and to test it we're going to use a rectangle and just click and drag within this uh, container now when you look in the properties section you can see that the width is set to 1200 pixels and that's exactly what we want we want 1200 pixels and there's also the gutter so if you look in between the the columns there's these white grids uh, and that basically is called a gutter the gutter is essentially the space between the columns and you can modify it if you need to. If you enter 30, that's going to bump it up to 30 pixels and that's essentially going to create uh, more space between different elements within your grid. This 12 column grid is perfect for aligning things within a container horizontally, but the issue is that we also want to have a grid that can snap to different elements vertically. And to do this, we're going to create a second grid on top of it. So to do this, select the, the frame again and the cool thing about Figma is that you can overlap different grids. And so we're going to add another grid just like this and go to the settings and select rows this time. For the amount of rows, we're going to set this to a thousand. And the reason why we're setting a very high number is so, so that we can fill the entire page with the rows. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is select the type. And currently you can see that the, the grid is invisible. And that's because we need to set this to top so that the grid begins at the top and goes down. Uh, we also don't want the gutter for this one uh, because we're going to create very thin grids and we don't want any space in between it. So we can set the gutter to zero. The next thing we need to adjust is the height, the height of the rows. For the height, we're going to change it from 10 to 8 so that we have that 8 pixel grid. Now we're using eight pixels because in UI, UX and web design, uh, we use eight pixels as a rule of thumb for uh, creating different uh, measurements. So eight, you would start out with eight pixels, jump to 16 pixels, 24, 32, and so on. And that's essentially creating different line heights and different spacing between different elements on the web page. Now, the only issue is that when we create an element like a rectangle on the web page, and then we want to move it down by eight pixels. We can't really do that uh, very efficiently right now. Problem is that when we nudge it down using shift and the down arrow key, it's going to move 10 pixels instead of eight because that's the default within Figma. To fix this, we're going to create a custom nudge setting and we can do that by going down into the settings, go to preferences and move down to the bottom where it says nudge amount. And the small nudge amount is basically when you use your air keys without any modifier keys. The big nudge is what we want to look at. And currently you can see that it's set to number 10. And we can just enter eight, close out. And now when we again go back uh, to our grid and hold down shift and move down using the arrow key, this is going to align perfectly within this grid system because we, we know that the grid is an 8 pixel grid and every time we use shift and the down or up arrow key it's going to nudge one row perfectly and that's exactly why we built this grid system so that we have a perfect aligning grid system for our ui ux and web design projects 
there we have it. We have two awesome grid systems within Figma. One is a 12 column grid and a second one is an 8 pixel grid, which is which are both awesome for UI UX and web design projects. And hopefully this will help you out to create more consistent layouts and help you out with aligning different elements within your project. I'm going to be creating graphic design and also web design related content on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification icon so that uh, when I upload new videos in the future, you're not missing out on new content. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time in my new video. Peace out.